Hi, I'm Sean. This is the mill, and it's time for Sean Opens the Mill. Time starting with, I hope we got a brush here. Understand brushes are very expensive. Makeup brushes are um, luxury items. Lab squared, just blend in brush. That's nice. You don't want to be individualistic. You want to just blend in. So, is that like a makeup term? Blending? Blending in your contour? I'm going to say this is very soft. I'm rubbing it on my eyes. My eyelids here. I'm going to tell you this. I could not imagine anything softer. I would say this is like beyond satin it's 2.5 times softer than sexy satin sheets i like it so i'm pro that brush let's see if there's anything in here to use it on show me your cheeks blush so these are sample sizes some things are more sampley than others like this brush isn't a sample size brush all right that's a full size brush let's take a look at this blush can i use the brush with the blush it's very glittery and shiny. That seems uh, larger than what I would expect a sample size to be. Because, I mean, we're talking about packaging here. This seems like the bottom of the barrel packaging. Only one color of print. It's in this one piece vacuum molded plastic. Well, it might not be a sample size, but it's definitely in sample packaging. This thing looks Tarte Wonder Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream, Cream Pour Les Lèvres. I guess that's French. Oh, that kind of looks like a cute little crown, doesn't it? So that, that I don't know, that's a pretty generous size if this is just a sample. <laughs> it is very creamy. Kind of tastes like fake ice cream. You're not supposed to taste it. Oh, well, <laughs> just get in my mouth. Oh, it's very tinted. I was just thinking it was like chapstick. All right, let's see what else we got here. It's supposed to be a... Oh my gosh, this is 0.17 fluid ounces, five milliliters, boosting anti-aging serum. It's so tiny. That's definitely a sample size. Not necessarily. Uh, and it's basically first ingredients is cocoa caprylate. I still can't read that. Basically, this is cocoa butter, right? All right, let's see what else. The, here's the big thing in here. That was the featured item. Oh, this is the featured item, the great cover-up, ultimate concealer. Oh, no, that wasn't. Is, is there not a mascara in there? No, no mascara. I guess we weren't lucky enough for the featured item. It's weird to me that fancy makeups are designed by men. Mm. Or maybe it's Michelle... I don't know. It's 0 0.03 fluid ounces, and it's got a very nice shiny cap there. Can I try a little? Oh, ah, that's a, I, I, is that a standard applicator? I've got a tiny little zit. Well, should I use it on my tiny little zit? It's called the Great Cover-Up. It's reminiscent of crime. The Great Cover-Up. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I'm a medium warm tone. Definitely not. But <clears throat> it seems to have worked well. I can't even tell that I've got it on. It's very smooth. So today's Ipsy, I don't know, Ipsy's kind of like the same thing as uh, um, Loot Crate, where it's almost like cheating to review it because it is absolutely designed to generate excitement, and it totally generates excitement. Um, but for the price, the big thing is just coming in this. is like such a nice, unnecessary, but appreciated touch. And because they do it, now if anybody else is going to do a competing service, it is necessary. And coming in, uh, having the, the gimmick of a new like collectible pouch every 
month is nice because you're going to run out of your 0.17 ounces of anti-aging serum, you know, but you're always going to have this pouch. So kind of bummed we didn't get the featured uh, mascara that I don't know anything about. Kind of bummed that I'm wearing lipstick right now. I was really lip cream. I really just was thinking chapstick. Did not realize how red my lips are looking in the monitor down there. You look so pretty. Yep. I look very look very pretty right now. Look very beautiful. So yeah. Uh Ipsy. Go go get it if you want some makeup. Peace.